So my friend and I planned a, tri a trip to Slovakia. We set out to explore the city through the day and part of the evening. We traveled with the Flix bus and arrived there very early. And now this is us walking through the old town of the city. That's the city tram. That's uh, an old statue of a guy working on a sewer line. Then that's how the old town streets look like. I like the old, and, the old architecture and the narrow streets and also the bricks. Then of course made our way to the souvenir place. Then after that, we walked through one of the streets. We were using Google Maps all through. Google Maps really came through for us. We didn't have a tour guide, but Google Maps did it just as well. Mm -hmm. Then this is another historic site full of uh, statues and plaques. Then after that, we made our way to the UFO Tower. And this is how the entrance looks like. Let me show you on the screens. But we're not gonna do the bungee jump. We could do near too. Yeah. Let's go. Two, two is quite a saving. Ume, 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 nini? And me press in a kuja. Wait, train. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. All I know is that I think we're going to jumping, but some of us are going to go on. Two, one. Uh oh. So we finally reached the top. The wind up here was really strong. So this river uh, kind of separates the city into two different settlements in terms of the type of buildings, architecture, and the cultural vibe that the city is giving. So on this side, you're able to see more skyscraperish buildings and residential flats or apartments. Then on the other side, you will see the olden type of buildings with red uh, bricked houses yeah brick roof rooftops then oh yeah from the very far you can see uh hungary that's hungary there if my compass is correct sana. and then to the other side you can see austria yeah Ukumbali sana, that should be Austria. But now to the other side. Then of course we are in Slovakia, Bratislava. Um, hmm. Then the green bridge right there is the old bridge. It was called Stare something. Oh yeah, this is what I'm saying. So 
on this side uh, you can see more red on the roof so the old town is right there on the right side of the road then that's the Bratislava castle then that's the main highway that leads into the city and uh, away from the city then this I guess is where people come to lock their love or something charms square imaneno then there was some information about the UFO skywalk it can be Austria Slovakia and Bratislava then uh, it was written that sometimes uh, marathoners from different parts of the city come to uh, view the city from the UFO tower and they normally use the stairs all the way up. It was really beautiful viewing the city from up here but we couldn't stay for long because the wind was really strong. Opepangin is serious and it was also very cold. It was even drizzling at some point. But it was a very amazing view. So, yep. Time to go. We then made our way to the Bratislava Castle. It's very beautiful. It was a beautiful sight to behold. Some parts of the castle were closed, unfortunately. So we just walked around the castle. Yes, so much gold within the castle, but I took those photos from the from the wind. So after that, we made our way to the Slavin, which is at the very top of the city. So it was kind of like a small hike to Lichokasana, but the view at the top was really beautiful and worth it. So the Slavin is um, a monument, which is a cemetery for Soviet army soldiers who died during World War II. So we visited at a time it was almost sunset so we were able to view the sunset from the top and it was giving jerusalem kind of views like and then you're viewing jericho and all those other cities oh yeah i've never been to jerusalem but that is what the maps do. So we are walking our way up. There are so many staircases that look like this, passing through the residential places. Then at some point, there was an old granny who was um, at a backyard. I don't know if she was doing some pruning, pruning something in the garden. And she said hi. She was really happy to see us. Yeah, so this is us now at the top. Yep. So you and your Slavin Memorial Monument. Mm -hmm. Then I walked around it. We are still using Google Maps at this point. Hey, Google Maps is idea sana. Google Maps is like a real tour guide. We really to idea sana sana sana. So there were so many um cemeteries around this memorial and uh, some names. Then that's me pointing to the city. There were beautiful views and the sun was almost setting. So there was that golden color from the sun rays. So yeah, this 
uh, memorial site was built, I think in the 60s or something. Yeah, in the 60s. And it's on a hill, like the city on a hill. Then I'm just walking around it. There were some monuments of some soldiers. And then now down there are the graveyards. Mm -hmm. Arms on each other's shoulders. Uh, I don't know if there's an explanation. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Wow. I think it's written in uh, Slovakian language. But all the same. Very nice uh, image right there. Then let's walk around the place to tune in before the sun sets. So at this point, we're walking out of the memorial site then some other beautiful views of the city right there and at this point we were concerned to leave the place because the sun is almost setting then those are some of the many graveyards of the soldiers yep then that's the way out I think to Lingili Mlangwa Nyuma or something because uh, this looks like the front side of the monument. And we walked our way out through what looked like the main entrance. So, more graves. Right there. Mm -hmm. At least some English at last. Military cemetery of Soviet soldiers who died in the spring of 1945 during World War II in battles with German Nazi troops during the liberation of Bratislava and Western Slovakia. So six mass graves, uh, individual graves in the area the ones we've just seen, but wow, 6,855 soldiers and officers, members of the Red Army. Mm -hmm. The central part of the monument consists of a same ceremonial room, which includes a yeah, 37 meters high monument in the shape of an obelisk, ah, this one. Mm -hmm. Then at its top stands a 7 meter high statue of a Soviet soldier raising a flag. Ah, who is a sign of victory, victory over fascism. I need to check the meaning of fascism. Crushes with swastika with his foot by the Slovak sculptor Alexander Trizuljak. Ah, okay. Okay. Then uh, very historic site then there are also this other mm -hmm. one two three five six seven eight 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 of them i don't know whether to call them flakes or what but this is the flake written in uh, slovakian language so siuzi soma but I'd suspect graves of some soldiers. May peace in Slovakia. May peace be in Slovakia. Ah, oh, wow. Uh, may peace prevail on earth. Correct. May peace veil prevail on the earth. May peace, peace prevail on the earth. Uh, mm -hmm. I think my breath is like this because Babu Yakuchoka Niki. Hike up. But. That is what it is. It's giving history. Okay. Nice to behold this site. Yeah.
and I'm also wondering, can I place in a KIV in uh, winter? Then how will it look in spring? Because I can imagine how grass this, how green, see your grass, how green this grass will be. Oh my, very nice. So now the other part is what's left. But I need to take some few photos. So after that, we took some few photos and then watched the sunset, then uh, watched the city one last time, then made our way back to the city center. We were hungry and we also needed to rest. So these are some of the photos that we took for the day. I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, see you.